we're back in Bali. A couple years ago, we came to Bali by mistake. Now it's one of our favorite places. We've been to Ubud tons of times, have never been able to be here for a cremation ceremony, so this is pretty awesome. Where do we go from? Where do we go from here? Here on the Island of the Gods, the people see death as a transition rather than an end. So this ceremony is a big deal. And it is quite a spectacle when it occurs. The Balinese creation ceremony is beautiful and at the same time pretty intense. That beautiful bowl is where they'll put the body a little later and then they'll burn all of that. They've been preparing it for days. Lift it up and carry that massive thing with man strength. It's a celebration of the person's life and their journey to the afterlife. And now we're safe again. Literally, a swarm of drones above us. It's like some sort of a Super Bowl halftime show over here. The history of the ceremony goes back centuries and is deeply rooted in Balinese Hindu beliefs, which are a big part of the island's culture. Back in the day, only royal families or high-ranking people got these grand cremations, but nowadays it's more common for everyone. The ceremony itself is a colorful and elaborate affair. Up to the temple. And there's the ramp and the top part of the ramp. It usually involves an enormous procession where the body is carried to the cremation site in the tall ornate tower called the Bade. Oh, wow. Look out. <laughs> Look out. We die, I love you. This tower is a symbol of the person's journey to the afterlife. Along the way, there's chanting, music, and offerings to guide the soul. Those things are so heavy and people are carrying them. This was incredible. I'm so glad we got to see it. Once they reach the cremation site, the body's placed on a pyre made of bamboo and wood, then set on fire. It's not about sadness or mourning. It's about releasing the soul from the body and sending it off with love and respect. For Balinese people, this ceremony is all about honoring their ancestors and maintaining their traditions. This profound and meaningful event is a way of showing respect for those who have passed on and keeping their memory alive in the community. It's a beautiful blend of the spirituality, tradition, and community that are cornerstones of Balinese culture. After the cremation, the ashes are usually collected and scattered in the ocean or a sacred river. This is believed to complete the journey to the afterlife. Tonight, we're going to a Kachok fire dance. This one is put on by the neighborhood. It's all locals. The guy that runs our homestead is going to be performing in it. This dance relates the story of the Hindu epic, the Ramayana. Ramayana has been an important part of Balinese cultural and moral teachings since Hinduism came to the island in around 100 BC. You'll see these dances advertised all over Bali. Go ahead and check one out. It's a great way to support the local neighborhood.
Of course, no trip to Bali would be complete without a visit to one of the three sacred monkey forests, a safe and ethical way to interact with these mischievous primates. You can also visit some of the beautiful temples that adorn the landscape. Some of them you can even participate in a water purification ceremony. And for some truly epic views, head up into the mountains where you can look over the volcanoes Mount Gagung and Mount Batur. And on the way down, it's a perfect opportunity to stop off at a Luwak coffee plantation for a sampling. And if waterfalls are your thing, you are in luck. But if you're craving a rice terrace experience, our preference would be to head to Jadalui because Tagalog is pretty much just a tourist trap. probably tell the entire Tagalog rice terrace experience has very little to do with the rice terraces anymore. Good lord. Regardless of how you spend your time on the island of the gods, we're sure the natural beauty, friendly locals, and fascinating culture will keep you coming back time and again. Keep drinking this coffee. <laughs> Leave the thumbs up and subscribe. No, no, that was good. That was good. That was good. <laughs>